Welcome to Sculpture in the City 2023 and we're here to bring you another art trail in the City of London taking place during the summer. Unbelievably this is the 12th edition of it and we start off of our 18 different things to find in St Boltaf without Bishopsgate Churchyard which is under the glaze of all of the tall skyscrapers here in the city of London. Now the good news about this trail is it's also accessible which means if you've got a chair, wheelchair, uh, in a mobility scooter, pushchair or anything else like that it's easy to get around and come and see these works of art which are also accessible 24 hours a day. So that was the first one and they all differ in different types. Now, if you want more information on the sculptures, uh, then you can go to sculptorinthecity.org.uk and you can find a lot of the information there. The map I'm actually going to put on our website, londonvisited.co.uk, so you can download the map and also all of the different pieces. This is the second one. And believe it or not, it's literally a two minute walk. Not even that, because it took me about 90 seconds to get across the road right by it. But that was the second one. Here's the third. Can you see the art? Because I walked past this, as many people will do, and the art is actually hanging in the tree. Now, this one is called Nest Series. Now, it talks about a lot of the art as being sculptures. Not all of it is. But with this one, you certainly got to look up and look closely to come and find the art. As you can see, you've got lots of different pottery shaped nests. And what was really funny was because I was looking around, looking under it and filming it, all of a sudden people started noticing who walked past quite a few times because I could hear people say, do you know what? I've never noticed that before. So there you go. You've got three bird houses in this tree alone. But how many people would notice? Right, so that is the third one on our trail. And now to the fourth. This is called Pacific Red 4. And the one I like about this is I didn't even realize there was an alleyway that led to this square around the back of the city of London. And of course, you come down here during a busy lunchtime, Monday to Friday, it will be packed. But as you can see, when I've walked around it later in the afternoon, there aren't many people around, apart from those having a late lunch and wanting to grab a coffee. Now, as we move on to our next piece, which is in St. Helen's Churchyard, um, I can tell you that actually there's an app that goes with this. Now, this is the Bloomberg Connects app. And if you think that sounds familiar, because that's the same app that you use when you go to the National Portrait Gallery. It's a free app. And what you do is you go in and you select the different thing that you want, the different event or activity, and then you can get all of the details. Now, the great thing about using the app is it will give you lots of details about the artwork if you want to hear those. But also, as you can see with each of the artworks as well there's a little podium standing by the side so it tells you more info about the piece of art that you're looking at but also the good news is it actually navigates the fact that you're actually at the actual piece of artwork which is a bit of a result especially when you're walking around London and think you may have got lost anyway I discovered this churchyard which I didn't realize existed under the gaze of the gherkin that's not easy to say also scattered around, you've got seven benches, which I haven't filmed them all, I've just filmed one of them. They've all got little plaques on them, which say something different. So if you find those, that's an extra bonus, because that's the only one that I filmed. And then we move on to this one, which is literally right by the bench. That's how close these things are. So again, it's another great excuse to get out in London during the summer, um, and a good way just to get out and have a walk and see what's going on, and also take in some of the natural beauty around you. Uh, when you find that natural beauty is, of course, away from the skyscrapers. So the tree we just showed you was called Summer Moon, which basically is a white tree. Um, and the next one we're going to show you is called, guess what? Megaphone. Yes, it is. And um, I wonder what gives that game away. Now, if you fancy doing this during the summer, it's on all summer. And actually, a lot of these are around till spring 2024. So they're going to be around for some time. Now, this one, the next one, which is number nine, is called Pitu Pithu Pitu. Yeah, OK, um, but it's right underneath the gherkin as well. So as you can see, a lot of them are quite sandwiched together. Now, also, don't go anywhere because there is another great art trail taking place and we're going to bump into that very, very shortly because they sort of crisscross. But don't go anyway because we're going to show you that. Is it me or do you think the chicken was trying to evade something by jumping on top of this pile of rocks? Hmm. 
Now this next one took me a little while to notice because I was filming it in the sunlight. But if you have a look, you've got an L that's flashing. So it goes from we are alone to we are all one. There you go. And those regular watchers will know I love a bit of neon. And we go from this one and we turn literally to our left and you're underneath the escalators for the next two pieces of art or the next piece of art, which is this one all combined. So this one and the previous one, which is number 10 and 11 on the trail, are right inside the Leadenhall building, which is by the Lloyds building on Leadenhall Street. So as you'll notice from a number of the pieces, this is called sculpture in the city, but not everything is a sculptor. So just forget that part of it and just, they could have recorded it art in the city. Well, that's probably copyrighted elsewhere. Right, the next one that we go to, which is at number 12, this is a ceiling projection. And if you think this looks fairly familiar, not the actual art projection, but the surroundings around it, this is because this is at the entrance of the garden at 120, which is the roof garden we've covered previously in a video, which you can go to free 15 floors up and get great views over the city of London but as you can see here for their art they're smashing light bulbs and glass but also you get sound effects with it as well so that sound effect of the glass smashing and then being pulverized by a hammer you get in full glory I must admit the question I asked myself was people coming here and just walking through have got no idea what this is related to what the heck are they thinking they think there's some massive hammer coming down on them hmm yeah, that's a bit of a thought, isn't it? Now, whilst I go off and report the artist to the Light Bulb Preservation Society, here's our next, no, it's not. Right, now I told you earlier that there's another trail that's going on around the city of London at the same time, and it's this one, it's the Morph one. Um, interestingly enough, I've been collecting these since our video, and I'll put a link to our video up in the top right-hand corner for you. Now, when you're doing the um, sculptures in the city trail, you're gonna come across a load of the morphs as well. So it might be worth doing both of those trails. Now the morph one is a lot longer and a lot more over the city because it's 52 different ones as opposed to these 18. But you can see they a lot of them are quite close to the sculptures that you're gonna see. And this is our next sculpture. It's called Earthling and it's the 13th one. And this is at Aldgate Square. So not only have you got the legs coming out the bottom of the wall and out of a shell, and you've got a foot coming out of that shell here and an arm coming out of that, yeah, don't ask me. Um, right, what I will say though is art is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm no art critic or anything else like that, but people know what they like. But this is Sculptor in the City 2023. Also, the other thing to say is this is the 12th time that they've done it. So these sculptures must be quite popular because most of them are new, but there are some that I have seen around before in pictures. Right, okay, so we're now on to number 14. This is called Habitat, but you've got to look closely because it's at an angle. But when you look at it, it's actually two people almost butting heads, but you've almost got to look at different angles to be able to see it. Otherwise, it just looks like a piece of rusty metal that someone's put in the middle of the grass. Okay, on to our next one. Another one that's not a sculpture. It's almost like a big poster, a big art piece put on the front of a building. This is number 15 and doesn't have a title, but this is on Greek Church Street. And just to give you a perspective of the size of this piece of art, there are some people on the corner, so that just gives you an idea how big this piece of art is. Now, to give you an idea, when I did this, and of course I was filming and sort of faffing around and taking different angles and photos and various other bits and pieces, it probably took me just under an hour to do the whole trail. It really is that close. So if you're just gonna walk it, have a look, walk around and go and find the next one and uh, just do that, probably gonna take you about 40 to 50 minutes at the absolute maximum, because it really is quite close together. Your nearest tube stations, uh, where if you want to start where I did, is Liverpool Street. Alternatively, you can go to Monument Station. Uh, that's also very, very close as well. So I'd use either of those two to get into the heart of the city and start the trail. This art piece is called the Granary. And let's face it, if you're gonna store seed in there, uh, no one's gonna really climb up and nick it, are they? So it's probably quite safe. But anyway, that's what it's called. And this is our art piece number 16. So there's two more to go. 
I must admit, one thing I did like about this one is the colours. Okay, so we go from the house to two pieces of art. So this is the first one, and you're going to see another one which looks fairly similar to this. And this is called The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. And that's on St Mary Axe. And it wasn't until I started watching the video later that I realised actually you've got to look at it from this point of view to actually be able to see anything. Because when you look from the other side, that's where it's been constructed. So don't do what I did. So stand between the two of them and then you'll be able to see the right side. There you go. It doesn't look like anything from that side. So you've got to stand between the two of them and then look at the aspects of the art from that way. Right, on to our final one. And we have a bit more neon. They must have known I was coming. So this one is called The Garden of Floating Words, and you can probably see why. And in the neon, it says, let's wait for it to pan out. It says, you've gone touching leaves in the moonlight, which is a bit of a result because I started reading it. and I thought, where the heck is this going, especially in this day and age? Right. This one is just tucked away down a side alley, which is why the map is absolutely vital. And once again, we put that on LondonVisited.co.uk for you to grab. So what did you think of Sculpture in the City 2023? Let us know in the comments down below. And which was your favourite piece of art? Do let us know. Now, if art is your thing, or you just fancy going to see something amazing, they've just reopened the National Portrait Gallery just behind Trafalgar Square. And I'll put a link to that video up in the top right hand corner. See you in there.